Hey boos, welcome back to my channel. Oh, this is different. Oh, <laughs> who is this popping up on screen? What is she doing? Girl, what's up? What's up? <laughs> so, look. Oh my God, it's so much that we have to talk about today that we're going to get into. I'm also going to unpack my YouTube play button. I'm also going to unbox my YouTube play button, which is something that I have not unboxed in the three years that I've had it. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more in this chit chat let's catch up type of thing. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about where I am and what's up what's going on because i know that you guys want to know so let's not long talk it let's just get let's get into it i just think it's crazy what i'm doing today like not my youtube plaque y'all and i just never unboxed it so let's unbox it let's kind of take it out and we gonna get y'all i got this in the mail maybe three years ago yeah maybe three years ago and if you can tell i never unboxed it i never opened it up this is my first time doing that and we're gonna do it together because i think that we earned it together i earned this because of you um and i want to share this moment with you this is crazy so there's a note and it says 100,000 subscribers just how far have you come if each one of your subscribers were a light year they could take you from one side of the Milky Way to the other that's far and it's why today we're so excited to celebrate your special YouTube journey with you not only have you brought a unique voice and style to the world you've also created valuable connections in both the community along the way in that spirit, YouTube is proud to present you with the Silver Creator Award, which celebrates your hard work and incredible achievement. Congratulations on the amazing milestone. It's just one of many that we hope you will follow in the future. After all, there are countless others out there who have yet to discover your passion and dedication. Whether they come to your channel to learn something new or just for a laugh, a whole new audience is waiting for you to inspire them, just as your growing community continues to inspire you. We can't wait to see what you do next, and we'll be with you every step of the way. Sincerely, see you on YouTube. <laughs> I've never seen that. <laughs> wow. Presented to Nini Tane for passing 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I want to cry, but I'm not. Oh, I've never seen it. Oh, man. Oh, man. I took this shit for granted. I'm not going to hold you. Like, I took this shit for granted. Meaning, when I surpassed 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, I was just like, all right. And that's really because I just had no no real like lane for YouTube. I didn't want anything from social media. I just kind of came here to have fun, dude. Like I didn't expect to. <laughs> so I really I got a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube years ago, six seven years ago, forever ago. Um, and I never applied for the play button until three years ago. My friend inspired me like you should really get your play button. Like that was a huge accomplishment. And I got it. I mean, YouTube sent it to me just like that when I applied three years ago. Um, and I just kind of kept it in the box. <laughs> oh, shit. That's crazy as hell. <laughs> Girl, look. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Look. Oh, shit. That's so cool. <sighs> Oh, I don't even know what to say. I really took this damn award for granted. Because it really, I, I minimized it. And here I am sitting here like ready to get teary eyed. Like this is a huge accomplishment. And it doesn't matter. I got this accomplishment years ago. But it's today in 2023. I'm finally recognizing it. That's crazy. 
I'm lost for words. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm lost. I don't know what to say, but I'm gonna keep it short and just kind of tell you guys thank you so much. You know, like I've always told you guys for years, thank you, because I've always been appreciative. And for me to finally unbox this and actually have this in real time, this is crazy. It's crazy. So, um, thank you. Thank you so, 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 so much. I'm so humble. You know, I'm, I'm just, I'm humble. I'm very humble. Um, who knows? I'm, I'm just humble. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Here I am, fresh, fresh, fresh face. Oh my gosh, y'all. So I was looking in the mirror the other day and I was like, damn, Natisha, you actually kind of got clear skin. Like, it ain't all the way there, but it's the skin is skinning. You know, it ain't bad. I've come a long way with my skin. OMG. So, what's up? This is weird. This is, I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. This. <laughs> <laughs> this job weird. I ain't gonna hold you, but let's show up. So um, let's get into it. What are we doing today? We're gonna chit chat. We're gonna talk. Um, and we're just going to bring back some nostalgia in our lives because we need it. I need it. I know that I do. So typically, I will prime my skin and do all that extra stuff, but it's. I ain't doing that tonight because it's a little later in the day and as um, soon as I get done filming I'm taking this right off so let's get into it let's get into the brows let's start that how are y'all doing now this is not my normal brow pencil and for real for real, I'm ready to switch it out this is a brow pencil that I had bought for one of my clients when I was doing their makeup and because um, I needed something like a little less harsh but let's go back to what I know hold on okay this is my handy dandy brow brow pencil right here that I'm using this is called this is Gabriella you may see this in your beauty supply store but what's up y'all how y'all doing I know I talked a lot in the beginning, so I'm trying not to long wind it, just kind of get right to it. But what am I doing here? Why am I doing my makeup? Like, why is this even a video? What is going on? Sis, let me tell you, I really had to sit and really realize, like, what am I missing in my life? What in my life kind of, let's just kind of backtrack, because I, I feel like I'm missing some stuff. Y'all yeah, had went through a really, really bad kind of like, and I won't say really, really bad. I want to say I kind of went through a, like a really deep depressive state and I did not necessarily like it. Whenever I'm depressed, I always can know. I always know when I'm depressed. There's behaviors that I show. There's things that I start doing. It's like, okay, Natisha, like, <laughs> you going nowhere fast. Look at these brows. They definitely giving neighbors. <laughs> they not. people like to say your brows related mine's definitely giving neighbors right now like there's no relation lord have mercy it's all right we'll get to it anywho i hit like a really really i, I always can tell when i'm when i'm depressed when i'm heading that way essentially um and i kind of hit like a really bad kind of depressive state and typically like most people i know for me when i'm depressed i kind of like pull back from a lot of things um because I, I have to slow down a person like me i'm going 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 and i be thinking that me going 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 is good but nah girl so one of the things that helps me a lot and i know for some people this is not good but when i pull away from my people places and things and i just kind of isolate it is so helpful for me I spend a lot of time to myself and I'm able to kind of like think and reflect and you know just be honestly I have always been like that since a little girl whenever I've gone through things I just kind of just completely isolate and people see it as dangerous but I always have to reaffirm people like no nah, it ain't dangerous I'm just getting back to me it really is just my moments of going to introspection anywho so in the time that I decided to just kind of like pull back um, I really was just kind of reflecting on like, Natisha, who are you in this moment and what do you have going on? Like, you know, why do you feel so unfulfilled and why do you feel so lonely and why do you feel like what's going on with you? And, you know, a big part of that was 
I'm a person that shows up for everybody. I mean, I show up for everybody. And I really show up for people because naturally it's just something I want to do. I support the people I love. And I make sure that the people I love know that I love them. I never do it with nothing like seeking anything in return. But I had to change that because it was like, I don't do these things for people to do these things back for me. But it was the fact that I was doing these things and I noticed that these things were absent for me. <laughs> That's the thing when we come and talk, sis. You know, sometimes I'll be hitting myself like, ooh, sis, okay? It's like, okay, we ready to get hit, get deep. And I ain't even trying to do all that. But I have learned to accept that's who I am, okay? So you either gonna catch me, meet me here, or sorry. That's it. Anywho, I was showing up and doing so many things for people, 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 you know, and people was pulling me and just pulling me in every which way. And I was trying my best to just kind of show up and be there and be present. But I still felt like I was just lacking in my life. It was like, how do I have all these people around me, you know, that love me and care for me, but I feel so fucking alone. Excuse me. I'm going to try to watch my language in this video, but I feel so alone. I just did not understand that. And I don't know. Nobody could really... Nobody could really answer that question for me. I'm one of them girls who, whenever I'm going through things, I may tell you about it, but I never fully tell you, you know, how it's really impacting me. I never really tell that or give the full experience. But I'm also that girl too. Whenever I go through things, I like to go through them, si go through them silently. And once I recover, I kind of can talk about it. Um, and the reason being, I've learned that this has been helpful for me, and this may be helpful for somebody else, is that, you know, I. Have have to really figure out what works you know <laughs> I know that when I'm going through things my emotions are high oh my camera's about to die when I'm going through things my emotions are high and um I try not to speak or talk when my emotions are high that's something I had to learn about myself and I try not to make decisions or engage when my emotions are high so I give myself time to kind of go through my emotions and then once they come down the coast is clear I can give you feedback on that right and I was just going through, you know, just that period of my life where I was feeling really lonely, but I was feeling like I'm giving so much to everybody and why am I not getting back what I give? And I'm going to tell you something. This has been something that I have talked about for a long time, you know, when it comes to me and how I show up for the people I love and me just getting hurt by people. I I hate to be the person that be like damn people hurt me people hurt when people hurt me it's like no mm -mm. you know i learned i started questioning myself like get a problem <laughs> Like, are you the problem? Are you the problem? And you know what? Essentially, in, in so many words, half of it is me. There's this palette by my boo of mine. She has her own co company. It's called Prissy Lux. It looks like this. Um, I really like this palette. I always use this palette. The colors is like that. And she wrote me a beautiful message on there. Um, it says, Nene, thank you for inspiring us to love ourselves and le leading by examples. Enjoy Sarah. I love this palette. So I'm just going to work out of that palette today. Anywho, so here I am. A part of me was realizing, like, you know what, Natisha, you are the problem. And when I say I am the problem, it's like I'm a person because I'm such a giver, because I'm such a, you know, lover, and I'm so empathetic to a lot of people. I find myself, like, knowing that certain people I shouldn't engage with and I shouldn't give my all to and I shouldn't really show up and give and give and give and give. And I see the signs oh so early with people and I just be like, ah, whatever. Like, ah, it'll be all right. And then, ah, and, you know, ah, that type of thing. And it's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I had noticed that, you know, like, Natisha, these people and relationships that you're investing a lot of your time into, it's draining you. And that's because you're not getting back what you want in these relationships. And I'm going to tell you something. I struggled for a long time and still do sometimes expressing my needs to people, like telling people what I want. Right. A lot of times people. Um. I, I, you know, just, I, just, I don't know. I just feel like, I, I don't even know. I know how to gauge what people need and I show up for that and give that, right? But when I tell people what I need, um, a part of me at first, it was like, I don't even know. But even when I did know, you know, people just wasn't trying to give me what I needed. So, um, 
long story short i had to realize like natisha you add to your own misery sometimes like you be doing shit and engaging in things excuse me that doesn't serve you and then you wonder why you know like you done crashed and burned like you gotta leave people and things alone but not even that it's like you gotta stop over giving it overdoing it over showing up and i'm gonna tell you something i put the label of over on it because it really is too much but it's just like me naturally giving right but when i compare myself to others and how other people respond and react it's, it's over <laughs> So, anywho, I kind of had to have a come to Jesus moment with myself. And, you know, I have always practiced for years for people like you got to be honest with yourself. One of my biggest strengths is I ask excellent questions. And because that's a strength of mine, I make sure I utilize that with myself like no nah, girl let's ask the questions. Let's let's figure out what's going on. You know, why are you engaging in doing certain things? So long story short, I really kind of crashed and burned and I was just like, you know, I have a, a really taxing job. For those who do not know, I'm a licensed social worker. Um, I work at an outpatient mental health clinic. So I see people with mental health issues and I, that I'm their therapist. I'm sorry, I didn't even clarify that, but I'm a therapist, right? I'm somebody's, I'm somebody's therapist, I like to say that. And that job alone is very emotionally taxing taxing and I'm gonna tell you what I mean by that is as a therapist you know you see people every day all day and they are in different emotions you know you have people who are showing up to therapy and they're really not okay I mean on the verge of damn suicide you have people who are suffering from losses and they're trying to figure out you know what to do with their lives you have people who are confused about their next damn step you know you have people who are just you know contemplating a relationship like you it's just so emotionally taxing and I'm a person that takes my job and my role as a therapist serious. I don't play about that, right? Um, so I'm showing up and I'm supporting all these people and I will see the impact that I have on these people and how I'm supporting them. And it was just like, if only, if only I could receive the same damn support if only you know what i mean like i would just watch people leave my sessions completely just happy and or watch them come on to my sessions and be like oh my god miss brooks is so much that we need to talk about and as we end the session they finally got some clarity and they feel good and they you know they ready ready to conquer the week meanwhile i'm waking up every day contemplating and waiting for the day to be over like that's deep like that really is deep and i noticed like natisha you know you going nowhere damn fast you know um you kind of got to slow down and pull back and really really slow up I always like to tell people like the helper needs help too and it was something that I would say but I was not fully embodying and living by like Natisha you need help too sis like you out here saving everybody else you out here putting fires out in everybody else's life but what about yours and when I realized that I was just like yeah girl it's time to kind of like prioritize you and you know if I could lend that advice to anybody like if you feel like you are just kind of like unfulfilled or you feel like you're just not happy or if you feel like you showing up and you giving everybody everything but you dreading your own day confused about your own life don't know what you're doing yourself like if you look good on the outside but for real for you ain't okay says so you ain't okay okay <laughs> i need you to kind of like take some time you know to figure out what's going on and stop stop and slow down let me tell you what i did girl i literally had to pull away from social media Media, literally for like a month I had to just kind of pull away from social media and really like take a breather and tell myself like you got to stop showing up for people because I mean you making everybody else's day but your day is like doomsday you know like what, what are you what are you doing <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, I'm a person. I've always been this way. This is just who I am. I never believe in faking my human experience. I never like to do that. And you just you know, like whenever you are involved in the social media world, you naturally fake your experience. Did you know that? Because social media is fake. Nothing about social media is real. So when you are a consumer of that, but I won't even say a consumer, an active participant of how social media is social media, meaning you are an influencer or you are a whatever you are. <laughs> you know, you are adding to that and you are embodying that. And I noticed that girl, I was waking up every day like, hey y'all, happy Monday, happy Tuesday. This what I got going on in my day and you know, hope y'all have a good day and I'll come check in with y'all later. And as soon as the damn camera closed off, I'm like, oh my God, okay, let me get to my day. What? Girl, when I noticed I was doing that, I was like, oh no, absolutely not. Like, who is this and what is this? I ain't like that. That's not me. That's not who I am. And I was not going to continue to portray that. So, your girl was like, get the F off social media. The time that I spent off of social media and just kind of like going into seclusion, I really had to connect with God and my higher power and my spiritual team and just kind of like talk and say, you know, what am I doing here? And one of the things that I was missing in my life was that like, you have no life for yourself outside of what you do for others. And that was like deep, like what? You have no life for yourself outside of what you do for others. And oh, girl, Lord have mercy. Like, oh my God, I didn't like that. And then it was like, well, what do you mean life? Again, this me asking myself all these damn questions. Because I'm sitting here like I take care of me and I, you know, I take my baths and I buy me stuff when I need it. And I go spend time with my friends and all of that. And it was like, okay, but like, what fills you up? You know, what makes you feel like you have purpose? What, what, what you give so much to other people, but like, how do you replenish that back for yourself? And that took me a long time. That really took me a long time. And, you know, I had to sit and think about that for a minute and I couldn't answer that. You know, like people find ways and have ways that they take care of themselves and they feel themselves. But let me tell you something. I have found myself searching for my job to be what filled me up. And my job was the number one thing that was draining me so much. You know, just like showing up for others and just being a therapist, it was very freaking draining. And I had to realize like, Natisha, a job is not meant to fill you up. And the job is meant to exhaust you. It is physically exhausting. A job, when you look at, you know, the definition of that, when you look at or understand what a job is, of course it may be something that you do get paid for, you don't get paid for, but you're actively kind of giving to it and I was like you got this you got this all wrong sis if you're looking for your job to fulfill you no wonder you're so drained you know like you got it wrong you got it all wrong and I really had to assess that like no your job is what you give your energy to but how do you replenish your energy and I think that was a good question and I posed that to you for those who feel like you're drained and feel like you're doing so much for others and feel like you know you just so lost and feel like when well, you just going through life in the reality I really feel like a lot of us is just kind of like going through life I'm gonna tell you we never really recover from the impacts of COVID I don't think we've kind I don't think we've recovered from damn COVID truthfully you know and COVID really set a lot of people down and had you going within you know really kind of seeing like what the hell <laughs> so anywho and I, I don't want to make that the topic of this because it's not just that but point is I encourage you to pay attention to what are you investing your time in and are you finding what fills you up and I had to just kind of sit and think and I'm like I know as a helper I'm like helping people you know it's something that fills me up but outside of that like it helps myself when I sit here and I take time to get myself cute when I sit here and I take time to just talk and just be and talk about my own experiences and encourage other people that's something that really fills me up like it brings me joy because to me it's like this is my God given gift, you know, this is this is a gift of mine. This is something that not everybody could do. And I do it so well and so effortlessly. And I touch so many damn people. 
and I never whenever I was on YouTube I never really cared about the views or the engagement you know it's just the process of sitting here talking and doing my makeup and popping my shit and just transforming like that is something that made me feel good and when I looked at the success of my YouTube channel I was like no we not gonna give that up like I know you are a podcast girl and I love my podcast that that is something that I still do it was just like you helped so many people on your YouTube and you felt good by helping them because it cost you nothing. You know, you was just giving people natural insights. You know, you was just showing people and giving people answers and encouragement and inspiration. You know, and that shit just came naturally to you. It wasn't exhausting. It wasn't something you feel like, oh, yeah, I got to do. I got to go find a message for the people. No, nah, it was never that. It never gave that for you, you know, so... It was like, go back to what you love. And one thing about me, I try to box myself in as like this one girl who does this one thing and this is what I'm so good at. But the reality of is it is that I'm not one dimensional. Like, I am well versed in a lot of things. And I can educate, inspire, and talk and do a lot of things. And I got to stop boxing myself in on that. And I encourage you to, like, just don't label yourself as the person who, I don't know, <laughs> the person who's a nurse. Like, nah, girl, you're probably well versed in so many other things. Don't just box yourself on that. So for me, it was like, as I was presenting online, I was like, well, I'm a podcaster. I no longer do makeup. No, I don't do makeup where I'm about to show you. I don't do makeup tutorials, but I still do makeup. You know, it was that. It was like, you come up here and people just love watching you get pretty while you talk. Like, that was something that people enjoyed. I got so many comments for years of people saying, like, your voice is just so soothing. And damn, you touched on a really point. It was like, get back to that. <laughs> So this is me here kind of getting back to that, getting back to the one thing or the many things that make me really happy and it fills me up and that's getting pretty and talking and encouraging and teaching and lending insight outside of my therapist role right because although I do all of that that's kind of structured and I have a standard that I got to live by and uphold you know it's ethics to that you know but there's no ethics to just being me doing what I love I would take that back like yeah, there's some ethics to it but you know what I mean like no legal ethics you know so um this is me showing up as that and I'm gonna tell you something it fulfills me I know already I'm gonna get the comments like Nene you just don't know how much I miss this you just don't know how much this just oh my god you have me girl that already just makes me feel good like good you know so what am I doing with my channel girl shit doing me truthfully I can't tell you what to expect and I can't tell you what direction I'm going in because I'm not going to box myself off. Whatever I feel like I want to do with this channel and how I want to show up as Nene, Tanae, as Natisha, that's how I'm going to do it. And I know that I'm going to have my people here that's going to be ready for it. Okay, so I essentially just put my lashes on. Let's do the lip. So this is just me kind of getting back to what I love, y'all, with no rules. No, whenever I engage in social media, you know, I never really had a real purpose. Like, oh, I want to be famous. Oh, I want a big channel. I want to get brand deals. It was just some fun shit to do, you know, and I never really had a real direction of where I wanted to go. And I kind of want to keep it that way. Like... I don't want to use my social media as trying to find a direction to gain something or get something. This was always fun for me. And this is what I find fun. Point is, this is me just kind of getting back to something that I love without having to teach, without feeling like I need to get something from it. I'm sure that somebody's going to take something from this and I'm okay with that because I get filled up. I love when I look pretty. I feel good when I look good. You know, I love when I'm able to talk and when I'm able to lend insight unsolicited, whether you need it or you not. You know, so that's one of the things. Y'all, I need, I need a gloss. Cause I ain't really feeling it by myself. Okay, I kind of wanted my lips glossy, so I'm just gonna go in with a lip oil. This is in the beauty supply stores by Ruby Kisses. Let's just see if this will add the gloss that I'm looking for without changing the color too much. Okay, okay. 
Oh, yeah. I wanted a gloss. Oh, oh. Oh, that's cute, y'all. What y'all think? Y'all was feeling the matte or the gloss? I like it. I wanted a gloss look. I didn't want... My face is already matte. My eyes... Oh, that's kind of cute. Let's see. I like that. What is it? Is it cute? So, anywho, thank you for spending this time with me. My plaque means so much to me. I'm just going to go ahead and sit it out and have it set up at some point so you guys can really see it. But I love y'all. And this is really me just kind of showing up in a fashion where I don't forget my people, but I also don't forget what I like. And YouTube was always something that I just enjoyed. I never really saw it obligatory. And this was something that poured into me. And I walked away from it, but it took me some time to really figure out, like, what it was that you wanted. What, what helped you? You know, what was something that you loved that filled you up? And this was just that. And it was because of my boobs, you know. Y'all, y'all really gave me what I needed. And this is me just kind of coming back to that. <laughs> so, hey, I'll catch you on the next upload, right? Like, we'll come back and we'll chit-chat and pop some shit, okay? Because I miss y'all. I love y'all. And, um, not loved. I love y'all. And I'm going to see y'all soon. I'm out. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye.